are doing with this thing? Pre-purchase inspection. Dude. They had this in GTA. Aston Martin vanquished Volante and today we're doing a pre purchase inspection. Basically what that is, is if you decide to buy a new car or a car and you want to get inspected before you buy it, you can bring it to us. We can do a thorough inspection to make sure the car is good and there's any problems we can point it out for you. And that way before you buy it, you know everything off the top of your head. Dude, the roof Mostly is red too? Yeah, and the underside of this is carbon. Nice. This is a really nice inspect Aston. One thing I really like about this car is the, wait, is this, <laughs> is the badging supposed to be like that? No. You shouldn't leave your dog in the car when it's so hot outside. So we got pretty much everything on here. So now we have all this stuff. Dude, that is so nice. This it's trunk is carbon too. We'll just do a close up how you can tell. Been resprayed. You see the orange peel here versus here? This has been resprayed. You can see yeah. major orange peel. Look at the reflection. Find the reflection. Yeah, I see it now. Right? And then look over here. I think this is original paint right here. And this is obviously you see trash in it too. You see? There's like dots yeah. of uh, trash in it. I think. So oh, yeah. this is a respray. No, this is respray too. Look at it. Yeah, the edges are really bad. Yeah, you can feel it for sure. Yeah, it's rough. Look at this Viper. What are we doing to this Viper? Clear, bro. Doing a clear bra on this car is not very easy. For the Viper, the hood is also the fender. Normally the hood is not this big on a normal car, right? This goes all the way over. It's all one piece. And you got these vents here, these crazy dips and curves. Intake here where air just goes blah, 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 blah. We've done many of these before in the past and they've always come out good. It's just very tedious. We'll get started on this one soon. Deep Talks with EVS Motors. Let's go pop belly. Let's go Chick-fil-A. Let's go eat uh, Cajun fish. Enchiladas being the most exciting thing he'll eat. Or quesadillas. Escalantes, basically. Yeah, for sushi. you, you're always just like, let's go get sushi. Let's go get something. Let's go get- What's wrong with sushi? Sushi's fire. Let's go hey, get hey, ramen? Man. You won't even eat pho, which is like a staple food. No, for I'm most just staying with my culture. You're staying with yours. That's all it is. Wait, your culture is Escalantes? It's Tex Max. So what are you getting before I place my order? Good case. Done with the Viper clear bra. So the full front end is now clear bra. So the crazy looking hood, the bumper, the mirrors, all done. Headlights are done too. This hood is insane. So the whole thing has been wrapped even down here. The scoop is also clear bra as well. We even clear bra this little section here just to give it some protection since it is kind of facing the front. That's a cool box. Special designer of the wheel industry. So ADV1 just released their new flow spec wheels, which is their entry level wheels. So we're doing unboxing. It's not a treasure chest, bro. It's a treasure chest, bro. We don't know what's in here anyway. Oh, yeah. So you ready? Yeah. Just kidding, psych! Oh wow. Fire. Fire. Just fired it. So this is an ADV 5.0 flow spec wheel. Aren't the center caps? Oh, it's actually, dude, this is actually really detailed. There's actually cutouts in the center caps to save weight. This is nice. Oh yeah, that's sick. That's a nice center cap. Spoke design is really cool. I think for the fact that this is an entry level wheel, because it does take a lot of time to cut out all these little areas and angles and things like that. So if you're interested in getting ADV1 wheels, this is a great option, especially if you don't want to spend forged wheel pricing. We are putting on the ADV Flow Spec wheels onto our Shop Model 3. So we're switching out the old wheels that we had on this. We had the Vosses on here. Uh, we like these wheels, but it's time to try something different. We'll be selling these at a really good price. So if you guys want this set that's on our car, let us know, hit us up. And since we have the wheel out, I figure we might as well weigh it. It is reading. 26.7 pounds. This is a front wheel. This is not bad at all. 28 and a half. We are done installing the new EDV on wheels. Can't go wrong with the clean 10 spoke design. 20 by 9 in the front, 20 by 10 and a half in the rear. These are in the classic matte black, satin black finish. I really like ADV1's take on the 10 spoke design with these what I call spoke arches they have incorporated on every single one of the spokes. It really takes that time with 10 spoke and just makes it a lot more up to date. And here we have the center cap that's really unique with all these little cutouts around the edges. Saves weight, but it also looks really cool. And here's the side profile of the wheel. So get some pretty nice concavity and as you can see, pretty much flush and here's the front as well just so you guys can see and the cool thing about the spoke design is if you're brave enough to do it a bright color finish it would really bring out the details in the wheel if you're brave enough to do something bright definitely go for it if you guys want to set for your mod 3 hit us up our content info is in the description down below all right guys that's it for the vlog thanks so much for watching we want to work in your car so hit 
us up. Our kind of info is in the description down below. I have a video here that you might like to check it out, and I will see you guys uh, next time. How many extensions do you think we can get on this thing? I know, I have some. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> You know how much torque you're gonna... Bro, I actually wanna see it. <laughs> so guys, this is how we practice social distancing at the shop. Can't be that close to the car, so we have an extension on extension on extension.